So in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a corner of knee walls without a corner post. And what happens too many times is people will come over here and they'll try to put a missing wall here, for example. And they'll go all the way to the corner. Then they'll try to put another missing wall here and they'll go all the way to the corner. And then what they'll do is they'll take those missing walls and they'll say, okay, it goes to the ceiling. They'll say yes there so they can give it a height. And then they'll put a three foot base height here. And what that does, unfortunately, it gives them what they're looking for, except that they've got a corner post right in the middle of it, right there. And they want to know how to draw that without that post right there. Well, unfortunately, you can't do it this way. You can't take a missing wall all the way to the corner. You can do it with a wall. So like, for example, I'm going to get rid of both of these here. If I take this whole wall here, I can get the effect that they're looking for. As a matter of fact, let me do them both at the same time. So save a little bit of time on this video. I can take those two walls and I can say, yeah, make it missing end to end. And then we're going to take our thickness, go back to four. Take our base height, go back to four. And now you have the effect you're looking for. But unfortunately, you can't do it with half a wall. You can't break this wall here. So essentially what you'd need to do is you need a continuous wall with a break in the middle of it so that you could do that with only half the wall. And unfortunately you can't do that in Xactimate, but there's a way to trick it so that it will do that. So let me put these two walls back the way they were. And now what we're going to do is we're going to break one of these walls and we're going to create a new room that we're going to sort of make an invisible room. So find out the distance that you want the walls to go to. And I'm going to break this room right there and I'm going to create a new room. And let's say that this these are the two walls here that you want to meet in that corner as a knee wall without a corner post. So you want this wall here to be a knee wall and you want this wall here to be a knee wall and you don't want that corner post right there in the middle. So we've created this new room here, and what we're going to do is we're going to delete this wall. We're going to delete this wall, and now we've got that wall split in two the way we want it to. Now we can come to these two walls here. And by the way, if you don't know how I'm doing this, selecting two walls at one time, just click on one wall, then hold down the control key and click on the other, and then click on the properties window right there. Now I can say end to end on both of them, yes. Go back to four inch thick, three foot base height, and now you have what you were looking for, where you've got half a wall, no corner post, and if you want to put an opening into the kitchen, let's say now you can put a missing wall here, and this one will go to the corner. So now, oh, we don't need that header there, let's get rid of that header. Opening goes to ceiling. We're going to say yes. And now we've got what I think you were looking for. And what you do there now is you take this room here. You make it a subgroup of this other one. And now you just get rid of the label. See right here where it says show label. Go to the properties. Say no to the label. And now it looks like you've got one room there. Just the kitchen. Now the only problem that this may present is you can't cross over from one room to another with a cabinet. So how do you do that? Well, let's put a block. There's our block tool right up there. We're going to put a block right here. And notice it'll only let me go. See how it didn't put it in? It'll only get. It'll only let me go to the end of the room. I'm going to bring that block that way. Let's say, let me, that's kind of a fat countertop there. So we're going to go to we're going to break it anywhere here just to kind of give it the look. And now you want to wrap that cabinet around there. So just put another block. And take it there.
And there we go. Now, since you've made this room a subgroup of this one, if you replace the floor, it'll do it in both rooms. If you paint the walls, it'll do it in both rooms. It's essentially taking the, the function of the kitchen. And that's how you do the corner posts missing on the knee walls. Hopefully this was entertaining. <laughs> Maybe not entertaining, <laughs> but educational. All right, have a good day, and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. I think it's down here somewhere. Or even better, subscribe so that you get to see any of the future videos that I post on here. Have a great day. We'll see you at the next video.